amazing and inspiring and totally intimidating. <laughs> I'm on the precipice of reckless and I know it. And yet I'm supposed to tell you about the womb room. To talk about how it felt to be born the first time, the second, the last, the most recent. Did you know that our cells are regenerated every seven years? There are 2,555 days, give or take a few, in the span of time it takes for the skin to renew. Of course, time is just a construct, but growth? Growth is not an old how I have grown. 2,555 times that I have tasted you on my breath and smelled you on my breast, and today I lay it all to rest. 2,555 sunrises and sunsets have painted over the skin I'm in, and suddenly, without notice, I've slipped into something more comfortable into the sleeves of someone new and tastes that do not taste like you. To fresh light, like I was never meant to circle this sun anyway, so why do I count its passing shadows as an indication of my longevity when I am long and I am levity? I am seven years old, and I am 700 years old. And I am 2,555 days closer to my infancy and 2,555 days closer to my demise. Do you see these eyes? These eyes were blue the first time I opened them as they grazed the ceiling of my mother's pelvis in my parents' room. They searched for shapes and light in the shadow of my sister's dewy face and didn't notice the absence of my father's heart. That had nothing to do with you. That was just the first time that I was born. 2,555 days later. A gappy grin amongst a gaggle of children packed in the back of a silver astro van like a can of sardines and I'm the one stuck in the middle. Oblivious to the way my little sister has learned to spell no with her body before her words, to the way my father picks her up and swallows her down. To me, the whole world is still new. It's time number two. 2,555 days later. A woman named Pat gives me a pink stuffed pig on my way out the door from the third floor. And as I turn in my gowns, I pretend I've forgotten what a frown feels like when it's pressed onto my face like ink to a page. These blue eyes are no longer blue, they're shades of brown, so do. And I check myself out of that ward only to conceive what I thought were the words, I love you. It turns out, the child I'm as scary was myself. And though you think that two flights of stairs, hours of silent sobbing, and weeks of starvation could kill anything, I still gave birth. Once again, I enter the womb room. 2,555 days later, and still no closer to being fully alive. I recite this poem and death becomes me. I recite this poem and life becomes me. I recite this poem, but still, this has nothing to do with you.